talk about life transitions. Cue the intro. show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we share the stories of everyday people maybe I can just tie that all in so Jay had an idea of us just kind of talking about life and then seeing where it kind of goes yeah so um, we don't really have a topic but we're gonna maybe see if we can figure out a topic and then see if we can dive in deeper yeah and for then sure. see where it goes what's going on with your life uh, life is pretty complex. Yeah. I'll say that. Um, yeah. Difficult at times. I yeah. appreciate it, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, everyone goes through a lot of issues in life. Yeah. Um, you have your you have your dips, and then you know you, you go to your peaks again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I think have I figured out what this video is going to be about. I think yeah. this video is going to be about life transition. We're both kind of making those kind of changes right now. So what are the peaks like? What are the low points like? Ooh, the low points are. Uh, learning experiences. Yeah. And the peaks are, they fly by. Let's yeah. just say they, they fly by and uh -huh. you feel great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The peaks, uh, you know, yeah, the, the, the lows are just forever. Right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I still have them. Like, I still have these moments, even though, like, I feel like I really exude positivity through my channel and everything like that. I still have a lot of moments where I'm, like, doubting myself and I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm not doing enough. Like, Am I supposed to be doing this with my life? Um, but yeah, they always feel like forever. And they always feel like they're never gonna end. And I'm trying to like switch my mindset where it's like, like appreciating those moments at the time versus like afterwards. Being stuck in my head is is one of the biggest things I deal with. Yeah. Thinking way too much. Mm -hmm. Overthinking um, everything. Overthinking everything. Yeah. And like dissecting everything. Mm -hmm. So, kind of makes you overwhelmed, gives you a lot of anxiety. This life transition has been the hardest because I went through two or three different really tough situations. Mm -hmm. uh, with my mother passing, um, me with me going through a divorce, mm -hmm. which was probably harder than my mother passing, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of lost myself. Yeah. I lost myself completely. I wasn't able to be myself in public at all. Mm -hmm. So that was very, very tough. I think for the past year and a half, I've just been kind of like all over the place. Yeah. And I'm just like hoping with this new like focus that I'm truly focused. Um, but I think I'm trying to also accept that the fact that that's just kind of how I am. Like I like a lot of things and I'm excited about a lot of things. So that's why I like to get involved with a lot of things. But I need to really like not hold on to things that are not doing it for me because then I'm stretching myself out too thin. So um, like with me, it's been like kind of career. What's gonna, what am I doing? Right. Basically like, what am I doing? What is my plan? Where am I going? Um, and then, so like recently, I, I finally made the decision that like no more weddings, just planning events or like, you know, producing, freelancing and focusing on the Illus brand. And then like, and then, shut up, shut up. Um, thirdly, like I feel like, and so I feel like there's like, I've said this so many times, like there's so much potential with the Illis brand, so I, I feel like that's the one thing I'd feel like most disappointed if it didn't move forward, because if we didn't put enough effort into it. Mm -hmm. But then also, I see the potential in the Upside Down Smiley brand. Yeah. Um, and like even this past weekend, I had my first like speaking type of event. Okay. And like someone said something about like, you know, like about me being a, a pretty good speaker or whatever. And I never thought of myself that way. Yeah. And I think it's just like, the practice of speaking to a camera yeah. has gotten me more comfortable with it. Yeah. And it not being like this whole like big presentation, like I'm like a showman, right. I'm just like a normal person just speaking organically. organically right. And because I love having conversations. What do you do when you're going through multiple transitions in life? As far as career, um, marriage. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, your parents going through a lot of things. Yeah. How do you deal with right. those kind of things? And it's like... I haven't figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> I, 
I feel like for me, I've just been trying to be like super organized on like what am I trying to focus on? Like what do I need to do today? Yeah. Just to like, and, and that my to-do list is personal and and work related. Yeah. And, but it's also like you might need like in your situation, some emotional type of support. Yeah, especially, well, that's difficult, right? Yeah. I, I have emotional support, I guess, for my family or my, yeah. my father. Yeah. But I don't like to share. I, I don't, sh it's just not something I do, right? Yeah. So I'll sit there and kind of meditate now. Now yeah. I've learned how to, you know, calm myself down through meditation. Yeah. And putting my focus into things that I love. Right. Um, like music, mm -hmm. and producing stuff. Right, right, right. So is that something that, like, you feel like since you've kind of decided to put some more focus and energy into it, it's been helpful? It's been helpful um, because I don't think about life too much. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of just, I, I delve into production. Yeah. And sounds like, you know, what if I, what, what do I do if I reverse this sound? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Yeah, you get excited about it. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I'm glad I have something. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have great friends. Yeah. And I feel like we all probably go through this kind of stuff at different levels and you know like what you're going through has like many more components um yeah and i i personally really feel like you know you just said you don't like sharing like i always feel so much better just talking about it yeah. right yeah. and i think a lot of times we're like oh i don't want to talk about it because then it's going to make me feel worse mm -hmm. or something like that or like mm -hmm. it's like we're overthinking it we're thinking about it more but like I don't know, like yesterday, I spent a lot of time alone. So yesterday I was alone most yeah. of the day. And I didn't really talk to people that much. But then I was like looking forward to like our conversation because I always like feel juiced up after having like these conversations. And yeah. just like connecting with people. For sure. Um, so I think it's like focusing on what those things are that like juice you up. Keeping your body and your chemicals inside That's your body. That's something that like I've been thinking about. Like I was thinking about this morning, like when I was, when my alarm went off, I'm like, I need to just get up and like go do something, like walk around even. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think, I think the brain and the body plays a huge role in how you feel every day. Yeah. And how you're inspired. Right. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So I think meditation is a great basis and a great foundation. Yeah. Um, for, or, for and life. exercising. Exercising. Yeah. Do yoga, just to stretch, I mean, for five, 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like when I sit here and, and think about my, you know, like moments where I feel down or whatever, I'm like, well, what, have I tried everything? I haven't, like I haven't, I don't exercise, so I could do that. You know, I, I don't meditate, I try to like meditate like here and there, I think about like breathing intentionally, like for like, a, but it happens like for five seconds. And you know, that's the thing, people don't have this information, like the actual information. People think meditating and they think sitting down and just kind of not thinking but yeah. that's not what it mm -hmm. really is right yeah. you're actually focused on your breathing, your breathing pattern mm -hmm. and um even yoga people don't have enough information on where to even start there's so much to do with yoga yeah yeah so i think that i think that looking for those kind of things and asking how yeah i think uh people will find the answers yeah or shows like this i think just like being honest with yourself and talking to people i think is important especially during these kinds of transitions yeah i really went into this like not really knowing what we were going to talk about and <laughs> i kind of like it yeah um it's a little bit out of my comfort zone because i don't have like control over how this went and I didn't really prepare for it. I right. just kind of went into it. Just like be honest with yourself. Just like accept it for what it is and realize that it's not gonna be like that forever. Yeah, 100%, it's not going to be like that forever at all. Um, if you're stuck in a bad cycle, like you can break it. It's very easy. Focus on foundation, focus on fundamentals. Yeah, dope. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, um, we do videos every single week every single Monday and yeah